Hello there, welcome to another episode of Dark Souls. We are in the ruins of New Londo, and there is a reason for that, or where there isn't, and we are going to head back. Um, I did some farming and upgraded my weapon one more time just so we have a little bit more damage it's not gonna be much but it's a little bit um, another thing I noticed was that in my last video my audio sound it's still kinda weird because whenever I check my videos if they are okay in terms of audio I always just listen to the effects you know like footsteps and so on and me fighting and, and that all seems fine but as soon as I talk to an NPC it goes super quiet or I just don't notice it that much I don't know why I'm always facing the camera when I'm talking to you guys I guess it's kind of a habit you know kind of just be like hey you know hey you hey listen hey you yes you hello Anyway, um, I um, pushed up my volume, my Dark Souls volume a bit now uh, in Windows because it was at like, I don't know, 20% while the rest of my system sounds were like 50%. I don't know if that'll help it, you know, I, I don't know if it was just those settings that was too quiet. Um, hmm, like, I really don't know. We'll have to see if that fixes it. Um, I don't think it's all that important to really so clearly hear the NPCs. This helmet is weird. Looking at it a bit up close, it's weird. You can definitely tell that it was supposed to be worn on, um, the Elite Knight armor. There's like a cap. Anyway, let's run. Because these guys are alive and they want to kill me. I should check if maybe I could wear something something else to improve a little bit on my armor or so like I don't know now now I don't know if maybe the sound the smith makes may be too loud overshadowing my voice who knows you know I wish I could just test it live I guess I could you know I could test it live I could just throw it on stream and just see how it goes, if it's okay, if it's not okay, but yeah. I guess that's one of the downsides to not having many viewers, which at the moment I really don't have any, I just started, and I'm not expecting to just magically having everybody watch my videos. The way it works anyway is that unless my video gets quite a few views uh, or watch time, it doesn't matter how many views, like watch time, in the first 27 hours it's been up, YouTube will mark it as unimportant and it will not be found. If you search for Dark Souls playthrough you will not find it unless you know it's it has reached that mark of hey it has that bad amount of watch minutes at least in the first 72 hours it's kind of ridiculous but considering how many submissions they make at a day I mean I can I can understand you know not showing up on the top of the search but I think it's even totally impossible to search it even when you type the exact name plus the offer name or so you still don't find it 
That's overkill, you know, that's that's just a bit too much. I mean, I'm not trying to be salty here. Everyone has to earn it. They can't make any quality content. Just, you know, tell me now. Am I making quality content? Am I? I don't know. Um, I'm just doing casual gaming. I'm not really looking to do money with this. I mean, if I did, it would be cool. Um, I'm putting um, my advertisements at the end of my videos, so there's that. So you don't really have to watch them. And most people have ad blockers anyway, so... Eh. eh. Not that I'm, you know, trying to say watch my stuff, give me some money. If I earn it, it's good. If I don't earn it, you know... Uh, I'm doing this because I have fun doing this. Because I love playing video games and I love commenting on it. Whenever I play video games and I'm just playing, I just feel so weird. Like, I don't know. I'd rather talk about what I'm doing. I'd rather share my experiences. I'd rather record funny moments and have other people laugh about them too. You know, that, that's just what makes video games great. Pretty much. To me, that's what makes video games great. I, I just have to find my way here. There he is. Alright, that guy... Um, hmm. We're, we're gonna have to duke it out with him real slowly. I was thinking about switching to the halberd. So I'm not at a range disadvantage. Plunging attack didn't work. Ouch. Oh shit. Ooh. Okay, so we got away there. I was wondering if maybe I can push him down. Wait, oh, yeah, I should I should be fine as long as I'm not greedy. And I'm not like trying anything too stupid like that. I was expecting him to do two attacks there. He seems predictable, but then he goes and does something completely different. I don't know if that counted as a plunging attack, I don't think it did. Okay, I gotta heal. Alright, gotta heal. Ah, uh, shit. I got a real deja vu right there. <laughs> we totally had that before. Oh wow, he like knocked my shield back. But it's a sturdy shield. So I'm mostly okay. Blue Titanite chunk? I don't even know what that is. I have absolutely no idea what that is. What? What is Blue Titanite? Are they in here? No. Here? Yeah. Oops. Uh, Titanite chunk for weapon reinforcement. Blue Titanite has powerful magic energy. Reinforce weapons to plus 9 and enhance 
enchanted weapons to plus four. With the discovery of chunks on Lordran, the race to locate the legendary slabs has begun. But could they be mere myth? Huh. So I guess I can enchant a magic weapon to plus plus nine with that, and a en enchanted weapon to plus four. Man, I really thought I could get his weapon or his helmet or so. Okay, shield. What what do you do? Um old medium metal shield of unknown origin. The grass crest is slightly imbued with magic, which slightly speeds stamina recovery. Oh that's not too bad. But you only have yeah. Don't think it's worth wearing that. I would love having stamina recovery, but oh, there's a tunnel. Huh. Tunnel, where do you lead? A bonfire. I don't know if I want to go on here. leads like down. Do I want to go there? Um, I guess I can go and check it out. But there is a lever. Don't tell me this is broken, okay. So we can pull it back, which we should. Where? Oh my god. Um. Let me see, I think that is a wyvern, and it's probably deadly, let me tell you, it is probably deadly at this point for us. Um, hmm. Should we try it? Should we? I only have 2000 souls. How bad can it be? Valley of Drakes. Ah, okay, I know where we are. I know where we are. Oh, lightning. I'm not blocking a lot of light. How much damage do I deal to you? Almost nothing. Fuck my life. Yeah, uh, you know what? I'm out of here. Bye! Because, um, I, I really can't deal with it right now. <laughs> I guess if I have a lightning weapon or so of my own, 
Um, I think lightning deals good damage to dragons. I, I, I don't want to call them dragons, but I think they are, supposedly, according to the lore, dragons. Because you know how it says that, um... Gwyn fought the dragons. But I think in the video, they were dragons. Weakness parrying. Yeah, I don't know, I don't really feel too well about parrying those guys. I'm more of a blocking guy. Um... Like, in the video, like, Seif, the scaleless, he's definitely a dragon, because he has four limbs. He has legs, and arms, and wings. But, these guys down there only had legs and wings, like, the arms were wings. And that's what makes them wyverns. Okay, that sounded weird. Okay, I'm seeing something huge over there. And I'm seeing something smaller over here. Which looks like some sort of giant. Oh, two of them. I don't want to deal with two of you. I mean, how tough are these guys? Hit me. Uh, that doesn't deal much. But they got good range. I can deal with these guys. I mean, they're big and all, but... Um, I should try to heal though. The terrain here is odd. Like, let me tell you, it is odd terrain. They do stagger me though, despite all the poise I have. Um, hmm. If it was just one of them, it would be much easier. But I should probably try not to get stuck back there. Um. <gasps> they do stagger me quite a bit though. Okay, so that move actually is bad news. Okay. One down, just one left. They look almost made out of, I don't know, Twinkling Titanite? I don't want to assume. Yeah, one of them is easy, really. One of them seems pretty easy. I can't take this. Alright, I'm not really afraid of those guys. They look scary, but that's about it. There's another one down there. Oh, 
but whatever is over there, I would say yes, I'm afraid. Okay, let's pull this guy over here. Oh wow. These attacks go all the way here. Does he, did he lose some HP from whatever that attack was? Let him do his... <laughs> it was mere chance, by the way, that I guessed that completely right, that range of that spell. Get him to attack, counter attack. Get him to attack, counter attack. Okay. They're not dropping anything though, so. I'm not sure if it's worth fighting them, really. Um, it's that try dashing through. I don't really know. Like, I'm just gonna explore around here. What does this say? Be wary of tough enemy. Does that mean. Bad guy down there? How did somebody get a sign up there? Oh, I'm hearing something. There's probably a dark knight or so back there. I want to know what that is though. That goes quite far. Oh! Oh wow, okay, bad. That move takes a lot of my stamina away. Yeah, better to dodge that. It doesn't seem like they drop anything. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, so he's there? I can see him. Oh. And I can attack him. Which means he can probably attack me too. <laughs> um let's not talk about that, shall we? Um <laughs> Which way is out? Is it that way? Yes. Um yeah, so he can one shot me. Great. That just seems a little Ugh. What's over there? Oh, that's where I died. <laughs> I was gonna say, what's over there? Okay, I don't think we need to fight those golems. I'm gonna just call them golems. Crystal golems. But yeah, that that dude, whoever he is, back there, can one shot me. Great. Let's see if I can open this door. I can't. Why can't I not open this door? Maybe because I'm blocking. Oh shit. 
There he is. Doesn't look like a black knight. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. That takes a lot of my stamina. Just one of those hits. Um, okay, and uh, what's that? like blocking right now which is why I'm not attacking I'm like waiting for that I'm doing nothing I'm just afraid that if I don't heal more he's gonna one shot him so I'm gonna try to get up here again Fully heal And maybe uh, Getting a plunging attack May have been a good idea on him Oh wow, yeah, look, look at how much stamina that takes away I gotta try not to get hit And then up Um, the moment you get greedy, the moment you get greedy, okay, I, I know how to fight him, it's just, uh, is that outside? No, leave it to me to walk the wrong way, um, I know how to fight him, it's just not very fast. I'm thinking about using my Dark Pine resin, resin for him. Like, thinking about it? Uh, I mean, gold pine resin. Why did I say dark pine resin? Resin? Whatever it's called. <laughs> dark pine? Um, yeah, I, I just... He's slow. He's pretty predictable. And my shield has a lot of stability, so I can sort of do it. I could try to parry him, but if I try to parry him and he hits me, I'm dead. So, eh, let's not, Let, let's, let's not, okay? Let's just not parry him. Okay, there he is. Because, yeah, if that hits me, I'm dead. But yeah, he, he has a long recovery time after attacks. But if I hit him and I hit his shield, I have a long recovery time too. Okay, so um, this is just tedious, but it's how I have to do it. As you see, he one-shots me. I mean, I don't want to go ahead and assume that he can't one-shot me. Okay, so it also does something to me when he hits me. Oh, I drank three. Mm, that was bad. I wanted to drink two. I'm not gonna risk attacking him like that after that. Oh wow, now he was a lot faster than usual. Okay, okay. Um, I gotta be real careful here. I 
just see if I can get him to attack. Come on. Come on. He's like getting up in my business, but he's not attacking. Yeah, I'm not gonna attack him after I get something like that. I don't know, maybe I can get something out of it, but I don't think it's worth it, risking it. And I'm sorry if watching me fight him like this is super boring, but it's how I fight. It's just how I fight. Okay, I, I just gotta judge the distance of that and get a hit in each time. I gotta try keeping him close to the middle of the room. Oh, fuck. Okay, time to heal. Oh, come on. Fuck my life. Okay, now I can really not get hit anymore. What the fuck are you doing, man? Tricking me, most likely. Oh wow, that was all my stamina. I kinda hate that I'm not full health right now. But what can I do? I also don't know what that magic effect is he put on me. I would love to two-hand my weapon, but um, he's just getting into my face again. Okay. Oh wow, um, my stamina. I gotta be careful with my stamina. I really wonder what that spell is that he has on me. Does it make me heavy? Can I not roll? I want to know, but at the same time, how am I gonna? How am I gonna find out? I'm not gonna risk rolling right now. Well, here it may have been a good idea to roll, but if I got the, get the time wrong, I'm dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> If I get the timing wrong when I roll, yeah, that's not worth it. I could, I should try to block, parry him, right? I should totally try to parry. Um, hmm. I love this fight. I just hate that I'm like really restricted to what I feel confident in doing. I don't think. I can get behind him, he seems to always be facing me, even when I walk around, he's always facing me. Trying to get behind him is not gonna be easy. But his weapon is slow, so I guess you can parry him. I mean, worst that could happen is I die again, right? Right? And dying in a Souls game? Dying in Dark Souls, it's just it's how this game works, right? Alright, let me at least get those back. He's not even letting me, okay. Now I really have nothing left to lose. Now I can just try to parry him. <laughs> oh, okay, so... 
Now we're gonna run back there, we're gonna try to parry him. And we have zero souls, so it doesn't even matter if we die. So I guess this is my I'm gonna die a million times episode. Just to figure out this one boss or enemy. I mean, I said in the beginning that... Okay. <laughs> that never happened, okay? <laughs> Oh wow, um, hmm. guess it really is that episode, that episode in which you see me die a lot of times. Oh, <laughs> that was so stupid. Okay, no jumping, no jumping. That looked like it was just, yay, let's get nothing back. It looked like you could totally jump somewhere there. Guess I was so wrong. Like, I thought that was already here, you know? Like, the path leading up to the enemy. I don't want to call him a boss, but the enemy. What was that health bar there that I saw? Um, yeah, I don't know. I said that I would try not to die a lot of times, but at the same time, I want to figure out how things work. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, attack me. Oh, shit. That was too early. Way too early. So, let's run, 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 run back. Uh, this will be one episode where I might consider speeding things up. Hmm. Or cutting stuff out. But... I don't know. For some reason, YouTube is not letting me use the editor. You know, the YouTube own editor. Which I would want to use. And trust me, I don't really feel like editing my videos. I guess, yeah, I would do it if I know a lot of people were watching them and it needs to be good content and not boring okay I guess I can take one more uh, I guess I can take two more okay let's let's heal heal one more Get out of the way, and then we can try to parry him one more time. Oof. My god. That is too scary, though. That is way too scary. Yeah, look, look at how much I put myself in danger just to try to parry him. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, whoa. I mean, the parrying does, does work wonders here. And I'm starting to get the hang of it. Ish. Problem is, I probably want to parry him on full health. So let me try to heal. Okay. Nope. 
I guess if I parry him one more time, he's dead. So it's all or nothing. Alright, now it's really all or nothing. Okay, okay, let's parry this guy. I think, I think that was either I die or he dies in that moment. In that moment, it was me or him. Havel's ring. Havel's ring. Oh, yes! This ring was named after Havel the Rock, Lord Gwyn's old battlefield compatriot. Havel's men wore the ring, express faith in Havel's men wore the ring to express faith in their leader and to carry heavy load. Oops. How much does this? 90. Oh, that is that is good. Um, that is good. Now I can have 45. Good. So I can I can wear that and and that. Yes, oh my god, that is great. That is great. That is exactly what I needed. So I'm at like four, 39 now of 90. I think this ring is gonna stay with me for the rest of this playthrough. I don't think he responds, honestly. I don't think he does. I kind of was hoping that I would get the shield or the weapon, because both of them seemed like something I would use. Like I said, I wanted to use strength weapons and shields. So both of them seemed like, hey, that's exactly what you want to use, right? I have a feeling like this leads somewhere where we've been before. Hello. Oh, okay, so it's in here. Huh, okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna go down again, though, because... Not much up here I want to do, to be honest. Like... What do I want to do up there? Okay, so let me think. Let me think. We have... Whatever... Oops. I think I just knocked onto my keyboard. We have... No Estus, so... First thing we're gonna do is go back to the bonfire anyway. And this area seems like a good area to just do that because oh yeah that ring I so needed that ring we have whatever that is to fight um, I guess figuring out whatever that is first before we decide if we want to do it where we came from, down there's a bonfire. Hmm. Let's go to this bonfire and figure out whatever that thing is. I don't think I want to fight it, it doesn't seem like the kind of enemy I can fight right now. Like, don't get me wrong, I love tough enemies, it's just that it shoots like magic blob of water, whatever. Oh, there it is. The wyverns also seem like something I should tackle once I'm further advanced, you know, my weapons further advanced, advanced. Like having like a lightning weapon or something. 
I don't really know where to go, but I know there's places I can go. Like I can go to that, mm, to that graveyard. I want to figure out what that enemy is right now. This is the episode in which I die a million times anyway, so we might as well. And I should seriously run more often. I just don't know how close I can get to it. Right, the, the terrain here is so weird. Even the NPCs struggle with it. Yeah, like, look at that. Ah, uh, hmm. I guess I should jump down and pull them. And maybe hope that they get hit by whatever that is. Oh, for a moment I thought I was falling down the cliff there. Oh, a third one? Now you're really doing it. Now you're really doing it to me. Okay, so this is, this is bullshit. Um. I probably try not to get a fourth one. Oh shit. Okay, the, the, they are completely confused in their pathing when I go up there. Okay, this is, this is starting to really piss me off. I mean, they're not super tough. I can deal with them. It's just that... Uh... Oh no! Uh... Again, I thought I was down the cliff. I should totally keep the cliff on that side. Okay, so he's almost dead. I should totally try to kill him. Ah, two at the same time. That works for me. Okay, you're two hits away, I think. Uh, that was tougher than it had to be. Alright. Um. Let's figure out whatever 
you are. Ooh, that barely missed me. Oh wow, um... Yeah, um, let's... let's not. Let's... let's just not. Give me a moment, I don't know what my dog's up to. What are you fucking doing, dog? Fish something out of the garbage. Uh, don't ever get a dog, guys. If you're if you're thinking about getting a dog, don't. If you value cleanliness, if you value um not having to spend a lot of time on things you don't want to do, don't get a dog. Because trust me, even when the idea of having a dog and walking it a lot of times a day or walking it every now and then appeals to you right now if you get a dog you have to walk it every day three four five whatever amount of time you have times and depending on what kind of dog you have for the next 10 12 ish years if not a bit more now think about that every day the dog's not gonna go away the dog's not gonna walk itself you will have to take care of that dog for 12 years. Just 12 years. Are you listening? 12 years. Um, it's not even my dog anyway. It's girl's dog. And, yeah. I don't know. I'm okay with it. You know, like, I'm like, yeah, you know, I don't mind. But if I, if I could choose, i definitely choose nope. No dog. I know that there's some fuckers around here. Like that guy. Yo! And then... I guess that guy didn't notice us. Yeah, you'll have to always pay more to buy food for the dog. You'll have to clean because they lose a lot of hair. Trust me, they lose a lot of hair. A lot of it. So yeah, unless you're prepared for all that, don't get a dog. If you don't want to clean every day, if you don't want to walk the dog three, four times a day, don't get a dog. If you want to go out, if you want to go to holidays, don't get a dog. Um, I don't really have any souls and I don't feel like getting one back from back there. Uh, I should rest at this bonfire though. That gate's still closed. Like, right now I need to decide between... Between, um, going... To the Valley of Drakes to deal with those... Wyverns. I'm gonna just call them Wyverns, I don't care what they really are. twice like I could go down there or there's a door that I once opened but I was too pansy to walk down there is a door leading down by the drake I, uh, that's another thing I could probably do kill the drake if I can get him to come back 
Yeah, you know, if, if he comes back, I'll I'll totally kill him. Ugh. What's up with everyone doing, like, combos on me? Like, what's up with that? Yeah, like, what, what the fuck is going on? Dude, piss off. Alright. Wait, if I can get the Drake to come back... That'd be kinda cool. Not sure if I should deal with these guys. I wanted to block. right now because I'm only going to the bonfire anyway. As long as I don't die it's all good. Like I'm just going to this bonfire anyway. Um but then again it's probably not a good idea to just run through there when we think the dragon might come back. Hmm. So let's go down to the rats. Hope we don't get poisoned, but even if we do. Even if we do not that big of a deal. I haven't gotten any humanities in a long time now. How did you notice us? Trust me, I can hit back. And that's gonna hurt much more. gonna go up and see if I can get the dragon to come. The last time I stepped on the bridge he came back. Oh shit. There he is. Anyway, um, I might, I might try to kill him because I think I have to. Or longbow. I don't think I have any arrows. Why do I only have forty-one bolts? Thought I had way more than that. Didn't I buy like a bunch? Anyway, um, so
How do you aim with this? I don't remember how you aim with this. Press L, T and R, T to change type of bolt. Okay, so I can... I can change the type of bolts. And I can shoot. How do I aim? Fuck my life! How do I aim? Guys! Holy shit! I don't know how to aim. I don't know how to aim. Um, PC settings. Uh, it's not in there. Um, mm, mm. Oh wait, um, key settings. X gesture dash roll use item left carry block attack Unless I can't aim with a crossbow I should be able to One one moment um This is weird I decided I wouldn't google a lot of things but hey uh How do I aim with a crossbow? There we go. Um, Well, that decides that I will have to buy a bow. Mm. I mean, I have a bow. What I mean is... Oh, I can't use it? Why not? It takes 14 decks to use. I'm gonna see if I can still use it. And if maybe, you know, I can... Maybe there's... I think that's a longbow, right? I don't know if I need the weapon. You know, that's the thing. I don't know if I do. These two fuckers totally noticed me. I can stand here for days, guys. Oh, 
right. Okay. Let's see. Ow. Still think I never had. <laughs> um, purchase. So. Short bow. We could use that. I guess we have to. Okay, that's 1,000 souls. How many arrows can we buy? Large arrows, we can buy 32. And then we can still buy... Oh, thank you very much. Come back soon. <laughs> uh, I hate how you can't use the menu while they are talking to you. Okay, wait, wait a moment. Let me, let me just see. I'm doing 194 with this one, and I'm doing. Okay, now... There we go. Okay, so with this I can aim. <laughs> And I do have a few arrows. I don't think that's enough. That's totally not enough. I gotta farm a bit. Um, Alright, so... I'm gonna farm a few arrows. By killing a few of those goons here in Undead, Undead Burg. Though, wait. I have this. How much is that? Oh, that's 1000. Uh, that might be enough. Probably not, but it might be. Oh, come on. That's another few arrows here. Ow. I hope. <laughs> and yeah, I'm like buying the most biggest ones. Okay, number 20. Oh, thank you. Very much. Have... Come back soon. Do I have any more? Soul items, that's a question. No. Okay, I don't know if that is going to be enough. But... I'm not really in the mood to farm right now. But yeah, I don't know how much that is. And I also don't know... I guess I should farm. I should totally farm and... Yeah. Get to the dragon. The only thing is that I kind of want to show how to take the dragon out. If you're wondering why I kind of did that stutter step there... It's because of those bombs. Um, but yeah, I'm... Uh, don't, don't do that. Trust me, don't press lock on on that bridge. We're gonna fall off. It happened to me. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, I wanna have a few more arrows because... Because who knows how many it takes to kill the dragon. I mean, these are big arrows that I'm buying, so... They have a benefit and a downside to them. Um. 
Like, the benefit is that... Is that they do more damage. The downside is that if I miss, it is so much worse for me. Like, it's just so much worse because it was a bigger arrow. I guess I'm gonna kill those guys too before I head back. Wow, even with my fire resistance, that did a chunk. Okay, I guess, you know, let's try to maximize a bit more. I think if I walk down here, there's a few more easy enemies I can take on. And don't worry, I don't think I will, or will I? Should I post the entire... How long it took me to take the dragon out? I kinda knew he was standing next to me, so I just swung my axe. Ah, uh, my sword, not my axe. Crack round shield. Okay. That should buy us another few arrows. I just don't know if I need the weapon, you know, for an achievement or so. I'm thinking that I need all the boss weapons. You know, the ones you can make from the boss souls, even though I have I have no idea how to make them, trust me. Actually earlier I went back to the blacksmith uh, I hope you <laughs> and tried to figure it out. Oh, I'm getting messages. Uh, not so important right now, it's just girl keeping me up to date. Bottomless box. Box allowing inventory management at bonfire. I guess I could get rid of a lot of the items I don't use, but I don't want to spend a thousand souls on that right now. Okay, another 31. Okay. Oh, thank you. Um, how many do we have now? Uh, it doesn't tell me. Okay, I have 38 and 16 of those. Eh, it may not be enough, but... We'll try, and um, for the sake of it, I'll just... Yeah, I'll just record it. <laughs> You'll just see me doing it. Um, I might speed it up. Who knows, it, it all depends if I can get YouTube to let me edit my videos. Alright, first I gotta check if there is enemies back. Yeah, for some reason sometimes... Enemies respawn. That too. There we go. Okay. Okay, I can't see it from here. Okay, so there's like a trick to it. You have to shoot his tail.
but it literally takes forever. See, because every time you shoot it, he comes forward like that. I don't know, maybe there's a legit way to fight him. But for now, we're stuck here doing this for I don't even know how long. Let's see, we start with 81, right? At least I think I got the timing down pretty decently. I just have to shoot it right at the start. Like right here, and now I shoot it. And bam. But yeah, this is kind of cheesing. I don't know. I've never, I've never tried anything else. The only reason I know about this too is that somebody told me, "Hey, if you start Dark Souls, try shooting the dragon's tail." It gives you a really powerful sword. I'm like, okay. And I guess since you do get the sword, if you shoot the tail only, there's a point to it. Or like it was like intended by the game designers. That's the only reason why I don't feel too bad doing this. Because it, it just seems like it was intended. You know, because you get something that you wouldn't get otherwise. I don't know if you can fight him up there, you know, if you get on the bridge, like, can you fight him? Like, can you legit fight him? Can you cut off his tail? I... it seems very unlikely that you'll be able to. But yeah, as I said, very boring. I wonder, is this still the episode of Watch Me Die a Million Times? If so, then this episode is like one of the weirdest episodes, yeah, because like first we have a lot of action. Yeah, I think it's still the same episode, it might, may actually be one of the longer episodes now that I think about it. Uh, too early, way too early, okay, there we go. No? I missed a few arrows there, so I lost count. <laughs> oh yeah, he's freaking out and he's like, where does this come from? I'm dying. Where, where's, where are these attacks coming from? I can't find the dude. Well. Okay, so we got the sword and he's not dead. That's good. I like that he's not dead. Anyway, this sword is pretty powerful. Like it has 200 flat attack. It looks pretty cool too. This sword, one of the rare dragon weapons, is formed by a drake's tail. Drakes are seen as underdeveloped imitations of dragons, but in they are likely their distant kin. The sword is imbued with a mystical power to be released when held with both hands. And that's pretty much what. Um, I don't know if there's like a limit to how many times you can use it. Oh 
Alright, it just takes away the durability, so you can pretty much use it all the time. Other than that, it has, I think, a pretty standard moveset. Nothing too fancy. It doesn't really have a stab though, so I don't really like it. But yeah, it's a cool sword. It's worth getting and it really doesn't take that many arrows. <laughs> I really thought it was gonna take way longer than that. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe and give me a like if you love Dark Souls and gaming videos. It really helps me out and I appreciate it. Um, might actually do some giveaways too with my subscribers. But all that is in the future. Just giving a little hint that it may be worth just like subscribing to me because if I get a substantial amount of subscribers I plan community events and everything which is a heads up anyway thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye thank you for sticking with this long ass episode